I'm Jamie Cage and I'm here on the sofa with Robert Jukes who plays the part of Chris Hatchett in a film called A Friend in Need. Seriously bad call, boys. Rob, what did you, again, what drew you to the character of Chris? Um, several things. I think when I first read the script, I was umming and ahhing between Patrick and Chris. And uh, I felt a natural affinity with, with Chris over Patrick. Patrick would be loads of fun to play. But I think I was drawn more naturally towards Chris. Uh, he's the straight guy. He's the, the man with the plan. And uh, he finds himself in a bit of a pickle. Um, wanting to provide for his family, wanting to be noticed by the the cool kids, as it were, it never changes. You know, he might be in his thirties, except for the, you know, we've still got playground antics going on. So, um, and he was a nice balance between between being the uh, the run of the mill nice guy and something a little bit more mysterious. Oh, that's nice. And well, there's a, a big part is about stockbroking and business. Yeah. So did you already know a lot about stockbroking? No. No? <laughs> Nothing. Do you know loads about stockbroking a now? Lot, a lot more now. A cool. lot more now. Um, a friend of mine works in the financial sector and uh, I met up with him and he very graciously gave me a couple of hours of his time and I recorded it. And I sent it to the guys who were playing Gianni and Patrick as well, and the girls as well, just so we could all get a bit of an overview. Mm -hmm. But more than that, uh, I met up with the writer who used to work in the financial sector, and um, we went for a pint um, in my local, and we had a, a couple of hours worth of chat where we went through what it is that he used to do, what he thinks that the characters do in this movie. And now, in a hypothetical world, if you would walk into an office as a stockbroker, could you... Do the job. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 One, Absolutely. one of the Good things, answer. one of the things that we all I think picked up on this is that so much of the whole brokering side of stuff is attitude and just kind of making thing people think that you know what you're doing. So, yeah. which is just like being an actor. You walk into a room and say, "Yeah, no, I got this." Yeah. Yeah, of sure. Course. I never intended for this to go as far as it has, but we're all in this together. If this gets out, we are all screwed. So, as an actor and you as a, on a personal level, what did you did you learn something from Chris playing Chris? Yeah, totally. Is um, I think the biggest thing is that this notion of you don't know what you've got until you've you've lost it, which is something I think everyone kind of struggles with on a on like a personal note. Is you know we kind of go through life kind of loving what we're doing, and then then something happens to just kind of remove something you've been enjoying, and you go, oh no, I I actually mm. like that more than I thought I did perhaps. But um, yeah, something may well happen to Chris. We're not sure, but something may well happen to Chris where he is faced with that realization that he's yeah. been playing with fire and it's, it's burnt him um yeah. but yeah one last question mm -hmm. how did you actually get involved with the project uh well a friend of mine who i met living in london he's now moved over to australia and uh, i got a as you do and i got a text from out the blue one day saying i've just seen this casting call obviously i'm not really available to give it a go because they're shooting in london and plane tickets are expensive yeah. but you guys should uh you should uh uh, go for it and I had to read through the casting breakdowns this is when I started umming and ahhing between Patrick and Chris and uh, spoke to the director Matt and said oh, I think I'll you know be quite like to audition he said yeah would you want to audition for Patrick and Chris mm -hmm. I said yeah sure did Chris's and was so into the character of Chris that I never actually got around to auditioning for Patrick uh -huh. I just didn't didn't do it so it's I'm very fortunate that I got the chance to play Chris because that was Amazing. a bit of a gamble not to go for two when I was given the chance so 